Hello, in this video I'm going to do example 5 for the surface area exam unit review and this is on our second review. Uh, the problem here says that Patrick needs to purchase wrapping paper so that he can wrap a gift that has the dimensions shown below. If the wrapping paper measures 3 feet by 30 inches how many rolls should Patrick purchase to ensure that he has enough wrapping paper to wrap the gift? So the first thing that you should notice here and that you should check always, always, always is check units. Now, if you noticed here, we don't have all the same units. I have inches, inches, and feet. So the guy I would like to go after is feet, and I'd like to convert it to inches. So I'm going to take two feet and I'm going to multiply by our conversion. I'm going to get rid of feet and I want inches and that relationship is 12 inches per one foot. So this gives us 24 inches. So now I have 24 inches. Okay. Um, the other thing that you should notice up here is that your wrapping paper um, is in different is in different units. I have feet and inches. So second thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to find the area of my wrapping paper. And that is three feet by 30 inches. So again I'm going to convert inches and inches so I'm in the same units for everything. So I'm going to take my three feet uh, over one and I'm going to multiply by 12 over one foot to give me 36 inches. So the area of the wrapping paper is going to be 36 inches times 30 inches which comes out to be 1,080 square inches. So that's my wrapping paper. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find the surface area of my rectangular prism here. So step three, I'm going to go ahead and find area of the gift. So I know the surface area formula is S equals pH plus 2 times the base. So I need to find um, the perimeter of my base and I'm going to just treat the, the bottom face and the top face um, as my bases. So the perimeter of the base would be 24 and I'll go ahead and do this over here on the side. So the perimeter of the base is 24 plus 8 plus 24 plus 8, and this ends up equaling, what did I get here, 64 inches. Okay, that's a perimeter. If this is our base, top and bottom, then the height connects them. That is going to be 15 inches. Uh, it's blue for that. It's 15 inches. It's right here. And the area of the base is going to be 24 times 8. So 24 times 8. And that ends up being 192 inches squared. So I'm going to take all these values and I'm going, to, I'm going to plug them in over here. And I get the perimeter, which is 64, times the height, which is 15, plus 2 times the area of the base, so 2 times 192. Okay. 64 times 15 gives you 960 square inches. And I'm going to add that to 2 times 192, which is 384 square inches. 
which gives us a grand total of 1,344 square inches. So this is the area of the gift box. We are asked in this problem, however, to calculate um, how many rolls should Patrick purchase to ensure that he can totally wrap the gift. So what we need to do is we can take the area of our gift and divide it by the area of the wrapping paper. So if we take 1,344 square inches and we divide this by the area of our wrapping paper, which was 1,080 square inches, our units cancel and we end up with 1.344. Now that's how many rolls Patrick needs. So we could write a sentence saying, Patrick needs to purchase at least two rolls of wrapping paper. Right? He can't buy, um, I don't know, essentially a third of a wrapping paper roll. It doesn't work like that. So he has to buy at least two. All right. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel. Catch you later.